Buddhism is a minor religion in the Philippines. Loanwords with Buddhist context appear in languages of the Philippines. Archaeological finds include Buddhist artifacts. The style are a Vajrayana influence. The Buddhist population of the Philippines is 46,558 according to the 2010 census. History No written record exists about the early Buddhism in the Philippines. The recent archaeological discoveries and the few scant references in the other nations' historical records can tell, however, about the existence of Buddhism from the 9th century onward in the islands. These records mention the independent states that comprise the Philippines and which show that they were not united as one country in the early days. The Philippines' early states must have become the tributary states of the powerful Buddhist Srivijaya Empire that controlled the trade and its sea routes from the 6th century to the 13th century in Southeast Asia. The states' trade contacts with the empire long before or in the 9th century must have served as the conduit for introducing Vajrayana Buddhism to the islands. Both Srivijaya Empire in Sumatra and Majapahit Empire in Java were unknown in history until 1918 when the École Française d'Extreme Orient's George Coetés postulated their existence because they had been mentioned in the records of the Chinese Tang and Sung imperial dynasties. Ji Ying, a Chinese monk and scholar, stayed in Sumatra from 687 to 689 on his way to India. He wrote on the Srivijaya's splendor. Buddhism was flourishing throughout the islands of Southeast Asia. Many of the kings and the chieftains in the islands in the southern seas admire and believe in Buddhism, and their hearts are set on accumulating good action." Both empires replaced their early Theravada Buddhist religion with Vajrayana Buddhism in the 7th century. The Srivijaya Empire flourished as a Buddhist cultural center over 600 years from 650 to 1377 in Palembang, Sumatra. Built as a mandala on a hill from 770 to 825 in central Java, the Borobudur stands today as the living testament of the Srivijaya Empire's grandeur. Three generations of the Sailendra kings built the temple that displays a three-dimensional view of the Vajrayana Buddhist cosmology. Later on, the Javanese Majapahit Empire took control over the Srivijaya and became the leading Buddhist cultural center from 1292 to 1478 in Southeast Asia. Ritual practice rather than meditation makes Vajrayana Buddhism distinct from the other forms of Buddhism. Vajrayana Buddhism was also known as Tantric Buddhism and Mantrayana, the esoteric teaching, which was conveyed only by a master to a disciple through initiation or empowerment. Vajrayana means adamantine vehicle or diamond vehicle that shows the way to awaken the enlightenment. Mantrayana comes from the word mantra, which means words incantation, spell, oath of special vibrations. Mantrayana makes use of upaya or skillful means, such as the mantra and the mandala. They serve as aids to mind cultivation. The Mantrayana practitioner visualizes the mind as a mandala that expresses the mind's innate nature as the ahistorical Buddha or enlightenment, which means the absolute in its emptiness and which has no beginning and no end, he mind is its sacred dwelling place. The Mantrayana practitioner sees her, himself as divine because, according to the Mahayana Buddhist perspective, their mind has been endowed with the ahistorical Buddha or enlightenment nature. It is also known as the Dharma nature, the eternal law that governs the universe. Archaeological evidence The Philippines' archaeological finds include a few of Buddhist artifacts, most of them dated to the 9th century. The artifacts reflect the iconography of the Srivijaya Empire's Vajrayana Buddhism and its influences on the Philippines' early states. The artifacts' as distinct features point to their production in the islands and they hint at the artisans' as or goldsmiths' knowledge of the Buddhist culture and the Buddhist literature because the artisans have made these unique works of Buddhist art. The artifacts imply also the presence of the Buddhist believers in the places where these artifacts turned up. These places extended from the Agusan Surigao area in Mindanao Island to Cebu, Palawan, and Luzon Islands. Hence, Vajrayana Buddhism must have spread far and wide throughout the archipelago. And Vajrayana Buddhism must have become the religion of the majority of the inhabitants in the islands. In 1225, China's Zhao Rugua, a superintendent of maritime trade in Fukian province wrote the book entitled Zhu Fan Ji Chinese, Zhu Fan Ji literally, quote, quote, account of the various barbarians, quote, quote, 
in which he described trade with a country called Ma'ai in the island of Mindoro in Luzon, pronounced Ma Yi, which was a pre Hispanic Philippine state. In it he said, The country of Mai is to the north of Borneo. The natives live in large villages on the opposite banks of a stream and cover themselves with a cloth like a sheet or hide their bodies with a loin cloth. There are metal images of Buddhas of unknown origin scattered about in the tangled wilds. The gentleness of Tagalog customs that the first Spaniards found, very elferent from those of other provinces of the same race and in Luzon itself, can very well be the effect of Buddhism. There are copper Buddhas images. The gold statue of the deity Tara is the most significant Buddhist artifact. In the Vajrayana Buddhist tradition, Tara symbolizes the Absolute in its emptiness as the wisdom heart's essence that finds its expression through love and through compassion. The Vajrayana tradition also tells about the outpouring of the human heart's compassion that manifests Tara and about the fascinating story of the Bodhisattva of compassion shedding a tear out of pity for the suffering of all sentient beings when he hears their cries. The tear created a lake where a lotus flower emerges. It bears Tara who relieves their sorrow and their pain. The golden Tara was discovered in 1918 in Esperanza, Agusan and it has been kept in the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, Illinois since the 1920s. Henry Otley Bayer, the Philippines' pioneer anthropologist archaeologist, and some experts have agreed on its identity and have dated it to belong within 900-950 CE, which covers the Sailendra period of the Srivijaya Empire. They cannot place, however, the golden Tara's provenance because it has distinct features. In the archipelago that was to become the Philippines, the statues of the Hindu gods were hidden to prevent their destruction by a religion which destroyed all cult images. One statue, a golden Tara, a four-pound gold statue of a Hindu Malayan goddess, was found in Mindanao in 1917. The statue, denoted the Agusan image, is now in the Field Museum of Natural History, Chicago. The image is that of a Hindu Malayan female deity, seated cross-legged. It is made of 21 karat gold and weighs nearly 4 pounds. It has a richly ornamented headdress and many ornaments in the arms and other parts of the body. Scholars date it to the late 13th or early 14th century. It was made by local artists, perhaps copying from an imported Javanese model. The gold that was used was from this area, since Javanese miners were known to have been engaged in gold mining in Butuan at this time. The existence of these gold mines, this artifact and the presence of foreigners proves the existence of some foreign trade, gold as element in the barter economy, and of cultural and social contact between the natives and foreigners. As previously stated, this statue is not in the Philippines. Luis Adriana Wood, whose husband, Leonard Wood, was military governor of the Moro province in 1903 1906 and governor general in 1921 1927, raised funds for its purchase by the Chicago Museum of Natural History. It is now on display in that museum's gold room. According to Professor Bayer, considered the father of Philippine anthropology and archaeology. A woman in 1917 found it on the left bank of the Wawa River near Esperanza, Agusan, projecting from the silt in a ravine after a storm and flood. From her hands it passed into those of Bias Baklagan, a local government official. Shortly after, ownership passed to the Agusan Coconut Company, to whom Baklagan owed a considerable debt. Mrs. Wood bought it from the Coconut Company. A golden statuette of the Hindu Buddhist goddess Kanara found in an archaeological dig in Esperanza, Agusan del Sur. The Philippines's archaeological finds include many ancient gold artifacts. Most of them have been dated to belong to the 9th century iconography of the Srivijaya Empire. The artifacts' as distinct features point to their production in the islands. It is probable that they were made locally because archaeologist Peter Bellwood discovered the existence of an ancient goldsmith's shop that made the 20 centuries old Lingling O, or Omega shaped gold ornaments in Batanes. Archaeological finds include Buddhist artifacts. The style are a Vajrayana influence. The other finds are the Garuda, the mythical bird that has been common to Buddhism and Hinduism, and several Padmapani images. Padmapani has been also known as Avalokiteshvara, the enlightened being or bodhisattva of compassion. Surviving Buddhist images and sculptures are primarily found in and at Taban Cave. Recent research conducted by Philip Mays has included the discovery of giant sculptures, has also discovered what he believes to be cave paintings within the burial chambers in the caves depicting the journey to the West. 
Estimates of the Buddhist population of the Philippines is at 2%. Several schools of Buddhism are present in the Philippines. There are Mahayana and Vajrayana Buddhist temples as well as Theravada followers, lay organizations, meditation centers and groups, such as Pure Land Buddhism, Soka Gakkai International which is an international Nichiren Buddhist organization founded in Japan. The Maha Bodhi Society's Zen Circle was founded in October 1998. Notes References Philippine Insight Meditation Community Buddhist Group Sets Up Free College in Philippines